You know, you remind me of a discussion I had with somebody who said that, how much money do I need to invest and how much gain do I need to have to pay for the subscription that I am paying? And my answer to him was that, look, that is one way to look at it. The other way to look at it is that if, if our app stops you from making a mistake, okay, that is worth a lot. Second, thirdly, secondly, the, another way to look at it is that, see, as you use our app, Abby, and I've seen this personally with, with the, you know, about the 10,000 users that we have just now, uh, they, and, and I personally conduct a webinar every week. I speak to hundreds of users. They ask loads of questions and stuff. I am finding that our app is actually educating people and explaining them how to understand market signals, how to understand what's going on in the market. So think of it as 15 pounds spent for self-education. So it's not just a question of, is it giving me ideas? Is it making me money? It could be preventing you from making mistakes. It could be just educating you. I mean, you spend 12 pounds, 15 pounds on a course on Udemy. You spend, uh, you know, if you go to, Brett and you order a sandwich and a Coke and a coffee and or a, you know, something, that's 12 pounds. So it's not an excessive amount of money to spend on learning and uh, you know, being more informed about something that you do. Now, of course, you have to like investing. Uh, otherwise, why would you even bother? So it, our app is not going to attract people who have no interest in investing. But for those who do, I would submit that this is an invaluable tool. 